Hello, thank you for joining me. See, in this video, I'd like to show you how to uh, take some of the features off of a front of a door and put it on the back of the door. And now, this is um, a video per request of a student who want to know how to do that. So, one thing to keep in mind if you uh, did your model uh, with symmetry and you extruded it uh, from a mid plane, uh, in this situation, it's probably the front plane, then uh, you should be able to use the center of that, that plane. It's right down the middle of the door. Uh, to be able to use that too as a reference to uh, be able to take some of the features off the front of the door and put it into the back of the door. I think I'm going to show you before we do that. If we were to right click on the door up here and change the appearance, typically the grain on a door is going to be vertical rather than horizontal as we see and that's just kind of the default setting but you can change these things. The way you do that is you right click on top of the feature manager tree, you go to the appearance uh, uh, icon up here pull that down and pick the top of the door up here. You have two choices up here. You can remove all part appearances, but you'd still uh, retain uh, you know, the oak uh, material for the door. It just uh, uh, takes out, out the appearance. We're going to go to the interior door up here and change that. The tab I want to show you right now is mapping. There are a lot of uh, different options in here. But let's go to mapping. Mapping's kind of fun. Right now I think it's uh, set maybe by default by for, uh, surface mapping. You could do planar mapping or you can do uh, box mapping if you like. And uh, the way box mapping is right now, it doesn't give, really give you the ability to move some of this around, but you can by taking this, uh, this uh, square that it gives you, the ability to change the, the density of the grain involved. If you go to planar mapping, you can change the axis uh, of the direction. For, for instance, we could do the XY axis here, put it right flat against the door, and then change the, the degree of rotation to maybe 90 degrees, so now it is it should look horizontal. Now we can change the density of the, of, the, of the grain too, simply by moving that back and forth, you know, edges of the, of the rectangles it shows. So those are some things you might want to consider. There's a few other options in here. Go ahead and play around with them. The polar option is really kind of fun. Spherical mapping. And uh, it'll give you a lot of different options in regard to getting a detail and uh, an appearance here the way you really like it. So to answer the question, let's go ahead and do the green check mark. Let's uh, map or let's uh, mirror some of these features from the front of the door to the back of the door. The way you do that, it is a feature now since these are all features. And we have our basic extrude over here to take our rollback bar and roll that back just a bit. You can see the basic extrude, boss extrude one. And then we have a cut extrude in the front, which uh, kind of cuts out uh, some of the door panels in here. And then we have a chamfer, which goes along that a little bit and uh, kind of uh, embellishes that design a little bit. So you want to take these last two features. The cut extrude one and insert ch uh, uh, inset chamfer. We're going to go ahead and uh, mirror those at the back. So it is a feature. These are features. So we're going to do the feature mirror. So go to the mirror button. Uh, the mirror face plane we want to choose is probably the front plane, which we want to do here. And then the features to mirror are going to be the cut extrude one and the insert chamfer, inset chamfer. If we turn this around, you can see the preview of it in yellow here in the back, just like we're used to seeing. Our previews are typically in yellow. And if you just do the green check mark, bang, all done, ready to go. Okay, thank you for joining me. Join me for other videos.